What's up guys, this is the Riverman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick up where we left off, the Russians have waltzed too close to Crimea and we're going to cause them to assault our fortress in order to utterly destroy this stack. So let's do it. And during a point where I was uh, cutting, no, no, I'm cutting out in part, I'm cutting out Russian turns. Because in my... Uh, French campaign, they are not that well established. <laughs> so we can play on as per. If I'm an American, as I am an Englishman, I'm a foreign Yeah, 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 you know what? It's, it's, yeah, I agree with that. Yellow. Um, but yes. The enemy will Oops. try to smash their way. Of course they will. Okay, so let's get everyone down here so I know what I got. So yeah, one's going to do, because they've only got one battery of artillery, one unit's going to do quick loan duty, and one's going to start to pick at their, their own artillery. And maybe if I deploy they, these guys back here, they might be able to have a pop. But let's pick my infantry. Hold this weak unit can hold the gate because no one they never really attack the gate. So you're up on the walls, you're on light infantry, so don't worry, you're on the walls. This unit of war above wire. Take this section of the wall. This line unit, cover this. Cover this flank. You probably go. Hmm. Maybe actually might keep keep this light infantry this this line infantry ready to deploy. Let's take this unit and put them here, and instead put one of my light companies up on this wall to provide some good fire. Actually, these guys have bayonets, so they're marine light infantry. So they they've got a bit. So they are light. They are light infantry. They are light, yeah, they are light infantry because they've got extreme range. But they, do, they are a bit sturdier in the melee. That's pretty neat. So I'll put you there and I'll put you, these guys, cover this gate. Still leaves me with some cavalry to just keep out of the way. Fichier. And two of these guys. These guys can wait. And probably get ready to hold any breaches that show up. And these guys look sneaky as heck. With pretty good accuracy, 62. So they've got a, they're a bit better than my uh, light, than my light marines. But again, they've got this combat problem. Yeah, these guys just super long range, which is pretty neat. But I think that is everything. My general's gonna just go here. Cool. So you quick climbing up. You go for their artillery. Quick climb shells, come on. And what I am gonna do is take this unit, because it seems a bit surplus to requirements and Let's pop you over here. So where are they aiming their artillery? Oh no, actually let's keep you there. I've never managed to get infantry to actually take up positions here successfully, so... Yeah, very penny packet. Hey, the Marines gun though. Foot guards and Marines. Right, take up better firing positions. Where's my? Heart? 
So you're firing the quick climb, so I want you to focus on. Let's go for them. You're hitting. Sort of got some kills on their infantry. Start to get in the range of these guys. Yeah, it's a long range. Well, they get within range of these guys. Ooh, that brilliant camp quick climb shot. Concentrate firepower on these guys at the bottom of that position. Any quick line drops on here because that's a pretty big target. Bombs away. Miss. Oh, bang on. Hundreds of casualties. Okay, so let's take these guys and run them out, take my Royal Bavois. Now you, you might have to stay here, I don't think. I didn't want them to uh, have one guy on the gates, and I technically had none. Okay, so back over here. Secure the gates. section of the line. Going to need marines at the rear, so let's get to play one of my line units up on the wall to help defend. them as they climb. Oh, there is a breach back here. Okay, well in that case then I can do my due diligence. Okay, let's take Nope, you got it. You gotta fight him. Should be able to manage it because they do seriously have them. Okay, let's move this unit up. I'm ready to cover. Terry's not even doing anything. <sighs> Didn't keep an eye out, so they managed to get a charge into my cavalry. Goes into the melee too. The Gilvy Regiment, because Russian infantry does is pretty handy in the melee. So even though they will eventually win, just be, just out of numbers. Okay, 
There we go, now the Agilvies are in, we should be okay. So they've got their swords out, so the Agilvies are... Not bad. High defense, that's pretty what that's pretty handy. Let's bring in my other unit, the Agilvies. Yeah, chase the marines down and then just commit you guys to fight these guys that are at the base of the wall. Oh, both of you just take out that last marine. Now their artillery is going. Focus fire their horse artillery, may as well. No one else is really a threat. Got some broken infantry units. Let's get these guys to help defend that section of the wall. straight into them. The Russians, all of the Russians are on, on the wall now, so the ones we kill now I won't receive any reinforcements. These guys smash into the 27th unit of foot on the walls. On the floor, sorry. Then we, these guys take position, they should just shoot the heck out of this unit and cause them to rout. Present. Fire! Ooh, excellent. Delicious. Delicious. Position up on the wall, here on the wall again. Get the Gilbys to set back up. Come on, men. Eliminate this unit. Chase them down. to get one of them to hit that unit but instead they will absolutely hit my combat. Okay, let's position my cavalry ready. So what are you? Vivrovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovin
to go into fire round shot into the into the ooh. Yeah, if I can get them to destroy the the dragoons that are that are here. There we go. I thought we were going to be in a bit of trouble for a moment. Come on. Steady. Don't be steady. Oop, he wasn't even on his horse correctly for a second there. What I'd like is if I can kill this unit and just send one of my guys just to shoot it this bit with their carbines. Even though, to be honest, there's hardly any of them left. Quick time shot aimed at the dragoons. Do this. Just to provide some to shoot into this unit of infantry. I could charge them, but I don't want to mess with. Oh no, that's them routing. I think. I may as well continue. general out. Do some killing. Ooh, sweet. Although none of them have, they haven't picked off, but either way, it's got to be good. But that's a big, big victory for the French. Oh yes, the complete destruction effectively, near as damn it, of their army. Ooh, next turn they're gonna get some too. Ooh, oh, we could just get them. Let's. To the fray. Now I know I've got that breach, I am gonna deploy my cavalry outside. All stuff when guys are trying to, to assault the walls. So, it's important that I do that sort of harrying because as we've seen, when I try and do sieges, it's really effective. I'm going to try to use only similar plans. Let them have the front walls in a way. Mostly because, holy heck, I'm actually much more depleted than I thought I was. I am a lot more depleted than I thought I was, so I might want to give up the walls. Or at the very least. Okay, here's what I think I want to do. So deploy everyone. Back here out of the way, or anywhere. So I think I want to do something like this. And you guys deploy here in the using the cover of the the armory. No, it's just a house. Deploy my very weak cavalry out here to protect this breach. And then let's deploy something like this. 
It's putting a Gilby regiment in the armory. Let's put these weak Royal Bavois units inside the house. So let's group, group these guys as they're deployed. Pompey want my marine companies. One of them here. I'm trying to make a hole, a breach in this wall. And then I'll probably want a unit of a Gilby here. Probably want one of my marine units on here to contest the gate for a bit at least. So who have I got left? Oops, no, oops I've acted. Yeah, I've actually picked up my cavalry again. Not that I think they'll get round here, but just to make sure. Okay, deploying my infantry is going to be an interesting challenge. I'm probably going to want to put... Mm, these are both good units, so I'm probably going to want to put you, like, up one of you up here. Got one of chasseurs in here. Or another chasseur in here. And once I've made the breach, I'll probably want, I'll probably redeploy these guys and stretch this line of infantry unit here, so as these guys can still fire. Actually, even then, I want to do that. Let's deploy my artillery here. All my howitzers here. Quick line right off the bat. You aim, for, you aim for there. So if you can destroy this section of the wall. Lots of our shots will oh, miss actually. So if I can do attack move right at the base. Or attack ground right at the base. on the right. if they're going to try and breach that section of the wall. You're going to get engaged with, by them, by my marines. Good, that's thinned them out a bit. One of you just keep, start hitting these chaps, they're going to go for the gate. We want this small unit here. We want this big unit to go here and just just cover that way. Get them there to cover this breach. Yeah, guards. I don't like my ult against them for very long. So when these guys, if these guys can make them route, that would be 
Perfect. So I don't want these guys to get involved in the combat, I want them to form square, which I will. make them routes. Last gatehouse. Guys, preemptively start. No, oh, don't start. Don't start blasting. One of you start blasting the gate with the shrapnel. I don't know what. Okay. Okay. So they get there engaging everyone. chasing my infantry. Let's get these guys to cover the gate. Okay, now hit, now hit that you have from the wall. You two. Quick climb shot. You go for that line of your guards. You go for who's in the centre? Ah. One lone horse curacio guard. Something like that. Yeah, that's fair enough for them to route. They've been chased after by Union Marines. Get past before the canister starts kicking in. So let's get you to run around like so. They're doing zero good. 
but they're not using it their ammunition. So. Good, the Marines are going to come in. There you go, smack those marines. Whew, perfectly timed. Again, quick gunners fire like your lives depend on it. There we go. Shattered, they're not coming back. Charge into that Eastern European mercenaries. So we're still firing quick limes, so. Drop it on the unit of Crossier Guards, I suppose. I think these mercenaries won't be able to stand up to my infantry. Let's run them over to secure it. Coming in this way. Should really have secured that gate as well. Oh no, they are coming in. Form square and the guys inside the building will pick them off. They only charge into this square formation. If these line infantry guards come in, they're in for a very rude awakening. Come on, open the gatehouse.
No, they'd much rather stand outside and not do anything of note, it would appear. So let's pick one of these weak units to go to run up and recapture this gate. Routings. Let's take you guys. Switch to round shot and go after them as well. And we'll start some good old fashioned counter battery. And to be honest, I don't think there's that much they can do about it. these guys will be enough to take the gatehouse and then fire down into the line of guards and they'll probably make them routes. This is probably the best way to make these guys route. And 12 pound of full artillery is the more dangerous, although they're hitting one of the outer bastions I don't really care about them. But another set of shots has gone out. I'm at triple speed now because not much is going on. That's how he's going to keep pounding him. We're going to slowly recapture the gatehouses. Good. These guys take up firing positions. Pour fire down into the infantry guards. Uh, generals charged in with Royal Crassier Guards this time. These need to be sniped at by the buildings inside the house, by the troops inside the building. Oh, my light infantry have redeployed. The cavalry, the artillery has come back. So I presume it had routed. Although it looks like it's all going to route. Good! God, that was a bit of a bit of a more... Could defend that. God, I should definitely have looked at my um, troop quality. Because look at that. Yeesh. But that's another French army. Russian army. Defeated. Yep, feel free to raid away. Staying just out of range of Moscow. But that's to that's to be expected. They're gonna go to another region. <gasps> Louisiana has expanded to Europe. Or may expand to Europe. Interesting. Ah oh, yes, the Indian action. So yeah, it was the war. The assault on Hindustan is where we made our last stand. Oh, my sores are starting to get a bit edgy. Genoa is a complicated enemy. <gasps> okay, I definitely saw that Mughal stack in Europe. There is a port in this region Ooh. that has not yet been developed. Okay, try build something. I said first order of business, but actually I do need to do a bit of this. Then recruit two units of line infantry. Then I'm going to cop to India because we've got a missionary, which is perfect because you're already being converted by the presence of the school. You do not have any sort of missionary, so I'm going to start in the south and work my way north and start to convert you to Catholicism. Enemy raid in the farmland, enemy raid there, enemy raid into the mines, which is fair enough. You may siege to Astrakhan, but 
So I said first order of business, actually more like, you know, third or fourth. Do we have any visibility on what fleet this is? Sixth rate. Yeah, so then these dregs at Watford will be enough to hit the Mughal ships. I'm not going to fight the battle, I'm just going to water resolve it because it should be enough to destroy them. <gasps> you sneaky little... Okay, take as many of them down as you can. So that one's gone. That one's retreated. Get them. Take it for now. Because we know there is another ship down here. And I'm going to send... Well, not a lone sloop, but I'm going to upgrade you. you're going to hold so let's get three first weights heavy first and some seconds so I know there's a fleet there but I can't really deal with it you're waiting for the Genoese to be to do get up to no good okay, but before I do lots of military spending well lots of infrastructure spending I want to sort these guys out Okay, so you got two uses of that, two uses of artillery. Oh, go and get a bolt, please, regiment. Get two French marines. Two units of line infantry guards. And then let's get you a unit of Swiss pikes, because you're going to India after all. You can get some more Royal Sudwa. Wait a minute, why have I... I'm sure it... Yeah, it said I had zero out of three, but that's clearly not true. Oh, it's because I've recruited them. I am recruiting them. What oh, can get Fusiliers? Okay, you get two Maison, Maison de Roy. Maison de Roy. And you get another one, because you're unbalanced at the minute. Cool. So it'll take a while for these, for these armies to get built up, because it's so much recruitment in such a small space. I still think it's a good idea. Cologne is recruiting. Okay, you're going to recruit with that last recruitment spot. You're going to get your own unit of line infantry. Because I need to start building up a bit of a garrison. Because when I inevitably declare war on the Spanish, these guys are just going to just going to go in every direction. <gasps> we have machined rifling. So I can get some cool... Oh, wow. I've got... Okay. <laughs> Lots and lots of lots of admirals, lots of generals, sorry. They can get start to get infantry petit vieux. Melee attack and uh, yeah, they might be good, good at shooting. I'll figure that out in a bit. Okay, yeah, so you you're recruiting a chunk of infantry and probably I'll get a couple of those as a bit of a garrison, in case my soul starts to get a bit antsy. You blockade the port, you're still blockading. Hyderabad is replenishing, as are you. Not entirely. Replenish. Well, actually, no, you go after them. Kum Kumar Abdullah. Then get back up towards Hyderabad and then do another round of replenishing. Repair the pleasure gardens. You're upgraded. Let's get some better roads. Let's destroy Subadar's palace and the Raj's observatory. Just because I like replacing it with my own uh, cultural buildings. I think it's just a hangover from from um, Rome to the wall. So I've got one Jesuit. I've got one religious building. I'd like to have another. Even though I don't necessarily need it, I'd like to have more more chances at Ooh. I'd like to have more chances to to spawn priests. That'd be a good idea, I think. 
Okay, so you can move up and get ready to threaten uh, Nagpur. You can probably get onto this road up here and start to threaten um, Hindustan. Uh, you are three off of recruiting, finishing another army. Good. As is Ceylon. So you could probably do with four units. Okay, let's get one of you and another unit of Sepoys. Cool. No, wait, that's five. Cool. Because these are a lot of armies over here that we're going to have to take out. <laughs> it's a lot of troops. So hopefully we can be a bit clever at least. It's very fortunate my peace in the Middle East has held. Then again, I suppose not, the Ottomans can't really do much about it because they don't hold enough. Or might, they only hold these two regions, so they can't afford to be too aggressive. Um, but anyway, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the next episode of my French Total War Let's Play.